In this video, we're going to look at an exam style question using the mid ordinate rule. So the questions on the left, are we're asked to use the mid ordinate rule with four stri strips to estimate the integral between one and five of log x. Um, and the mid ordinate rule that we're going to use is written on the right. Um, it's, it's a long formula, but all we're going to do really is just plug numbers into this formula. Um, so the first thing when using the middle order rule, we have to find the width of our strips, and that's the thing called h. Now, h is given by b minus a over n, where b is the upper limit of our integral, so 5, and a is the lower limit of our integral, so 1, and n is the number of strips, so 4. So we get 5 minus 1 is 4 over 4, so we use h is equal to 1 in this question. Okay, And to do mid ordinate rule questions, um, I always make a table of x values and y values. So let's make my, a table of x, y values. If we have four strips, we're going to start by looking at um, x0, x1, x2, x3, up to x4. Now, x0 is where we start, it's the lower limit, so it's just 1. And x1 is just x0 plus h, so 1 plus 1 is 2. x2, we're just going to add h each time, so 3, add h, 4, and add h again, 5. And if we've done this correctly, our final xi should be the same as b, the upper limit of the integral, which is, it's 5. Okay, um, so that's sort of five ordinates we've got there. Um, but for the mid-ordinate rule, we don't actually need these x0, x1, x2, x3, x4. We need the, the sort of in-between values. So we need x1.5, x2.5, x and so on. So let's do that. x0.5, well, it's halfway between x1 and x0 and x1. This is obviously 1.5. We're going to have x1.5. That's 1.5 is halfway between x1 and x2, so this is 2.5. Uh, x2.5 is going to be 3.5, and x3.5 is going to be 4.5. And this is the key difference between the mid ordinate rule and the trapezium rule, for example. The trapezium rule doesn't need us to take these middle ordinates. So these are the x values we're going to use. We also need to use some y values. Well, our y values, yi, are just going to be equal to our function applied to xi. Well, the function is log x. That's that's what we're using in this integral. So yi is going to be log of xi. And again, we just need the y 0.5. We need these mid integral. So log, y 0.5 is going to be log of x 0.5, which is 1.5. So log of 1.5 is 0 0.4055. Um, the final question, the question asks for the final answer to three significant figures, so I'm going to use at least four significant figures uh, for my y values. And I'm just going to repeat, I'm going to work out y 1.5 is log of x 1.5, which is 2.5. And that is equal to 0 0.9163. Uh, similarly, y 2.5 is log of 3.5, which is 1.2528, and y 3.5 is equal to 1.5041. Okay, and we're basically done now. All we need to do is plug these numbers into our mid ordinate rule formula. Well, the mid ordinate rule says that the integral is approximately equal to h, so my integral from 5, 1 to 5 of log x dx is approximately equal to h, that was 1, times my y half values added together. So y 0 0.5, y 1.5, y 2.5 plus y 3.5. So it's just 0 0.4055 plus 0 0.9163 plus 1.2528. Plus 1.5041. So add those, those together, multiply by h, which is 1 in this case, 
and we get 4.0786, which is 4.08 to three significant figures. And that's our final answer.